Shen Kins, owner, skipper of Komatsu Azuru and winner of ORCI Division 4. Tell us about the race. Ah, well, like everybody else has already said, it was great, fantastic conditions. Loyal knew that to beat us, they had to break the record, so they, 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 they certainly did that. And we had a great run across Storm Bay, so it all evens out in the end. Uh, and not to rub it in, but last year you really did miss out badly, so the Derwent dealt you a, a better deal this year, yes? Yeah, as I said, for sure. And uh, the only time we got slowed down, uh, unfortunately, just to remind us, was about 500 metres from the finish line, because it really uh, dropped out there. And we had visions of last year just spending hours there. But um, it, came, it, it was just filling us, and it came back in about 10 minutes later, and we managed to finish, and we were, we were really happy. And the ding-dong battle with Maluka of Commandy still goes on? Oh, yeah. No, I don't think that's going to finish any time soon. Uh, um, and, and to make, uh, make it worse, they'd made a mistake with our finish time and uh, recorded it incorrectly. So we'd actually won uh, IRC Division 4. So we were celebrating. Well, the crew already were anyway with that rum. Um, but, um, but then they corrected it about an hour later and uh, we saw we come second. But, uh, oh, no, they're, 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 they're fine sailors, good boat, good handicap, and they sail it well. And uh, that's, that's what we hear. We love the competition. And uh, they certainly bring it. And, uh, and we'll be out there next time to, um, to get them. And a lot of people talked in this race, despite the fact that it was very fast, about how much time they spent in the in the quiet stuff. But there was a fair bit of breeze at times. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, the most we saw was about 30 knots downwind, and uh, you know, people think downwind sailing is, um, you know, that oh, that must have been great. But once it gets over 20 knots, you know, the uh, the waves get bigger. Um, you throw in some darkness, and uh, and then a, a few problems, and they really magnify in 30 knots. So everything, and everybody's on the edge, and and sometimes. Um, uh, keeping that concentration, like we only do three hours on, three hours off, so and we do that, and we only do half an hour on the tiller at a time. So, and you've got to put in for that time because one bit of um, uh, daydreaming, if you like, uh, and that's it. Everything happens so quick, and then those waves take over, and they'll put the boat on its ear, um, you know, in, in seconds. And then you've got to rip, and then this breaks, and that's the end of your race. So, uh, um, it's pretty scary at times. And uh, still the elusive overall IRC on handicap, so I'm sure you'll be back. Oh yeah, for sure. We're already booking uh, accommodation, uh, and uh, and we're just going to leave the mantelpiece spot, which we had ready for this year. We'll just leave it for next year and just put something temporary there, a, a flower or something. And um, and uh, yeah, we'll be ready to go. Excellent. Well, we look forward to taking the photographs. No worries. Thanks.